Dude, so we got the Focus G, new case. I think it's gonna be a game changer, like at 50 bucks. <laughs> Kyle, focus. Isn't AMD Ryzen just the best? <laughs> Kyle, focus. Oh, yeah, hold on, let me fix that. Here we go. Damn it. Over here, sexy. Kyle, focus. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I'll just Netflix while you guys chill. The Focus G from Fractal Design is a new budget case done right. Click the link in the description for more info. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today we've got some fun, exciting things that we're gonna do. Um, not terribly exciting, but fairly cool. I I'm excited. We're actually gonna be doing some cable management on not computers, like the one Wifey Sauce is building right now in the background. Say hi, honey. Hi. But cable management rather for the desk setup, the, the sort of gaming area that I have set up so far. So here's a preliminary look at it, and here's the awful entrails that are just hanging out of the bottom. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty god awful. So what we're going to be doing is cleaning up all the cable mess that's underneath these tables here uh, with the help of some IKEA hardware. We've got the Signum. If I remember correctly, this product has been uh, heavily popularized by a lot of those setup channels, other tech channels, such as Random Frank P, Tech Source, and those guys, awesome people. Uh, this seems to be a pretty st straightforward and sweet product as well, easy to install. Looks like there's only a couple screws. Thank God, because this is IKEA stuff and you know how that goes. So basically we've got these three trays that will be mounted to the bottom of our desks here. Sorry for the shakiness. Chris, the intern, is not here today, uh, so I'm doing all the filming myself. Uh, so you've got a tray that's gonna go, more or less, gonna hover just beneath the table here, towards the back of the desk, so it's out of sight, out of mind, and then we're probably gonna put a power strip in each of them, maybe two if we need them, and, uh, and that'll be that. We'll tuck away all the cables way up there, so if you're standing, you're standing in the room, there's just no possible way that you'll even know the cables are there unless, you know, you went down here and took a sharp angle. But for the most part, we've got three of these guys. They'll be going on this desk, that desk, and that desk. Uh, we don't really need one for this one. This is like the presenting table. Paul and I do awesome hardware. I'll just run like a line on Tuesdays whenever we need to hook up our laptops in this area. But for the most part, these three desks that are facing the walls will be nice and tidy all around. And then finally, the other thing that we're doing today, really quick, simple installation. We've got this RGB LED strip kit uh, from, I don't know, some Chinese company. We've got a couple meters to work with here. So I'm, I'm betting that we have enough length to run it again behind all three of these desks that are touching the walls. So we can pretty much just do an all-encompassing LED strip running across the whole thing. Kind of similar to uh, Paul from Paul's Hardware. I really do admire his garage setup that he's set up over the years. Um, so I'm kind of going to emulate that with some LED strips to give it a little bit more color in the shots, in the back background of the videos and things like that. So that should be pretty fun. Um, it's going to be a pretty straightforward, simple video, guys. Nothing too crazy. But let's go ahead and get started with, uh, I guess we'll start off with the cable management stuff first. Oh, really quick. Before we get around to Signum, I actually have to replace these panels with these guys. These are the Asus ROG Strix PG348s. You guys know them, you'll love them. If you don't, uh, you should. They're really awesome monitors. They are the 3440 by 1440 curved ultra wide G-Sync 100 hertz displays. My goodness. Yeah, it's gonna be super sweet. This is an awesome setup for, for editing because you've got a 4K panel here, 60 hertz, vertical oriented one over there, but I'm not gonna be doing any editing in this room. In fact, all my editing stuff from the editing station is gonna be on the other side of this wall in the other suite that we have. Uh, so this is really just, I, I wanna make this a, a gamer's haven, more or less. So we've already got sort of a nice gaming system here. And this whole area, this whole setup is subject to change. I don't know if I'm gonna re replace this with a different system, if, if this keyboard's gonna stay, if this mouse is gonna stay. So there's there's a lot of things that are just sort of up in the air where I'm sort of figuring it out as I go along. But one thing is for sure is that I'm gonna be installing these two panels today. And then once those are installed, then it makes more sense to, to move on to the cable management. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines, because we're about to tie up some cables. There's no way that I can make that sound exciting.
so here we are several hours later and there's a significant lack of cables underneath the tables it rhymes so it must be true oh yeah if we take a little deep a little uh, dive deeper you can see that there's definitely a bunch of cables stashed up uh, in this in this tray in particular uh, we haven't yet added any to that one but we soon we soon will and then the third one over here uh, is starting to get filled up as well. But overall, uh, installation was fairly simple and the results are totally worth it. Everything above the desk looks pretty sexy too, especially them PG348s, my goodness. Now, the reason why this one is off, Asus actually forgot to include a power brick uh, with, with that unit. So this one was totally fine. Got the power brick for that one. Only half a power brick for this one. Only the, uh, the AC cord, but missing the actual brick which is too unfortunate. Uh, this, is, this wasn't a retail model though. Uh, it looked like it had been like a, a sort of a recycled review sample. So don't worry if you're buying this retail, I'm sure it's gonna come with a power brick just fine. I think just something got mishandled um, when it was transferring hands to me. So, but that's okay. I'm gonna hit Acer up and try to get one of those in here soon enough so we can actually get a full spread. Boom, boom. Oh, and you can't ignore the super useless but totally awesome LED logo that's just being shot out of this monitor's butt onto the desk. Looks super cool. And some other things to note here. Uh, I did install my little hook, my little hooky guy. It's not quite the, uh, the, the really popular one that everyone uses, but it's very similar. It's not rubber, it's sort of aluminum, so it's really lightweight, but it's got 3M and it comes 3M tape. It's got some screw holes too, though, if you wanna really get it in there. It does just fine carrying the, uh, the Void Pro RGB wireless from Corsair. And uh, I did want to say that I did zip tie, I did tie some zip ties for our power strip here. There's a zip tie there and a zip tie here. And then the cord wasn't quite long enough to actually lay flat across the uh, the ground there, but that's okay because I think I'm gonna put a mini fridge. I'm being, I'm being dead serious right here. I'm gonna put a mini fridge to the right of this table, which will uh, totally cover up this, this nasty cable here. So that should be totally fine. Mini fridge because awesome hardware, because Paul and I need beer and we need it fast, so. Mini fridge is gonna go right there. Maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll put a computer inside of it because why the hell not at this point? And how about them RGB LEDs? Now you'll notice that I only have the LEDs behind this desk. I don't have RGB LEDs anywhere else like I initially planned. And that is because I'm an idiot and completely overlooked the fact that these are all separate tables. So that wouldn't really work to have just one continuous strip. There was no way to chain them. Now the LED kit that I bought did come with a second spool. So I put that one uh, along this desk right here, but I was unable to power it up because the kit only included one of these little DC power bricks. So until I get another one, um, it's, it's lights out for that desk, but uh, it should be pretty sweet once they're both synced up. I think the next uh, plan of attack here is to find some artwork or posters or something for this just barren, these barren walls. It's just white, it's just white for days. I wanna switch it up and not just put, you know, more computers and monitors on the wall. Uh, I, I want something a little bit different. Maybe a little less digital, a little more analog. If you guys have any ideas though of what should go on these walls, please let me know in the comments because I don't really know. But anyway guys, I'm gonna close things out. It's about 9 p.m. at the studio here. Everyone has gone home for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys are enjoying the content lately. It's been a little bit different because uh, there's so many things that need to get done at the new studio that I'm just trying to make content around those things. Kind of killing two birds with one stone. Hopefully you guys don't mind. If you have any sort of feedback, let me know in the comments or you can give me a like on the video if you enjoyed it. That's all for now, guys. Have a good one. Subscribe to BitWit Ultra, my ad-free early access channel for a buck 50 a month. First two weeks are completely free and you can back out any freaking time. Until next time, have a good one and I will see y'all in the next video.